All right. Last segment of the night. Let's see what we can get done. My camera decides it wants to cooperate. There we go. So I pretty much have to jump down from here. There's no other option. So I'm going to do that. At least I only have to jump down one segment. Okay, so the thing I want to try... Nope, that's lava. Um, really? I have to take the mask off before I can... You can't just automatically unequip that mask for me. Alright. try going up the right hand path instead of the left hand path and see how far I can get with this thing down such that I can maybe fall into that other place that I haven't been yet Let's see if that does anything for me way? It might actually just be this way. Yes, then I don't have to do that stupid roll again. Okay. It's really, really nice of them, by the way, to have color-coded those doorways. Because the fact that those do doorways are color-coded is the only thing that lets me remember like where I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to be doing with that stuff. to that. I don't necessarily know that I needed to do that, but... Okay, this was the thing I was thinking of. Um, like, maybe there's a way... There's almost certainly not a way to do this, because look at how far that overhang goes beyond... Um, Almost certainly I, I will bump onto that overhang. I'll try it anyway. But it's unlikely to be successful. Also, I don't know how long having taken these things out will last. Because it seems like they come back pretty quickly. Alright, if I don't fall. Because that's also a possibility too. I could just fall. Yeah, and the, and the snowballs are back. So I was hoping to be able to get there from here. Maybe that's possible, but I still think I'm going to hit the overhang when I try and do that. guys think? Can I make that jump? I'm gonna say probably not. No. Er, one heart of fall damage.
So the only thing I can think of left is her question of like, why is that one thing a different color than all the others? That and the platform that's like invisible. Uh, or not invisible, but the, plat the, the empty platform that she keeps trying to direct me to that doesn't seem to have anything on it. Also, I should be- no. Uh, yes, I wanted to do them- do something with masks, but that was not the thing. God, I'm so close. It's the middle of the final day. I don't think I'm gonna make it. But I'm like super nope. No. Um Give me the dive command. Why is it not giving me the dive? There we go. That was not exactly on the center. That was slightly off center. the fairy I missed is like somewhere in a pot near the beginning or something that I just haven't broken and it's gonna it's I'm gonna like feel ridiculous when I find it <sighs> okay I feel like I should just wear this as much as possible just in case <laughs> through green door I can get to blue door. Maybe. Right? Yeah. Probably. Just because this is easier than doing that rolling bit. from here. Whoops. Alright, well. I can think I can get to Blue Door this way. It just puts me up right next to Blue Door, as a matter of fact. It does. I am. There is a room where there is a fairy in. That's interesting. Because if this is 15, then I should just go return the fairy, the thing, before I take out the boss. So at least if I don't finish the thing today, I can get that. Let's see. Okay. She's in here somewhere. Is there a 
hidey thing in here somewhere. Invisi glass, go. Somehow the bomb chew can do something? Um, glass tells me nothing. Okay. Somehow I have to get up there. I feel like that bomb chew is in this place for a reason. And I've got to get it to do something special. Try some, let me try something here. Let me try s if I see what um, what's going down when I shoot the eye. I guess I don't need fire arrows for this technically. I can just use regular arrows. Come on, this way. Yeah, let's see if there's something on the base of this pillar that's like bombable or something if there is it goes real fucking quick I was hearing a weird little noise. There we go. Okay, let me leave and come back. See if I can do anything with the bomb chew. I can't get the bomb chew up here because it can't get on top of the platform. It's like they're meant to keep me from, like, sliding down somehow. Hello, bomb shoe. I note you have a bomb on your tail. This implies to me that there is something to bomb in this room somehow. But what? It's much too tall for me to jump there off the platform. Also, all those crates there.
Spikes around the sides must mean something. They don't want me to slide down the wall somehow? I can't step on them or I assume I take damage, yeah. Alright. Oh, I should be seeing things with the lens. Let's try the pause trick. Okay. This is going to be fun times. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Nope. Damn it. Um. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no. Totally mango. If it's something where I, like, looked around the room with this thing on and I didn't see a thing because the emulator was broken, then just feel free to just tell me that. I think that's totally reasonable. Oh, I should take this off while I'm not using it so I don't waste magic. Not along the edge, they're like right around the middle here. And I probably have to be wearing the lens of truth in order to step on them at a guess. Nope. Alright, um I'm gonna need some jars of magic. <laughs> You should probably just abuse safe states super hard with this. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, that's not gonna work. I need to go get some, some magic, because I'm not gonna make it the whole thing without a little bit of magic jar. Um, oh no! Fuck. Where the f- Oh, fuck! I'm here? Well, there is magic in these jars. Alright, my goal is, before I close up for tonight, is to get this last fairy and bring them back to the... to the big fairy. Using save state super hard is actually going to start here. Save state, slot zero. Also, almost out of arrows, which is a problem. Is there really nothing in there? All right.
now. File. Save state. Slot zero. Uh. Nope. Whoa. Nope. Okay. File. Load state. Slot zero. No? Load state. Slot zero? Shit. Did it not save last time? Fuck. I don't oh no, it did. Good. File. Save state. Slot one. <laughs> File. Save state. Slot zero. <laughs> File. Save state. Slot two. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we beat the broken emulator! <laughs> and look at that. We have 15 of 15 fairies. Let is, let's go return these to their proper owner before the night is over. said before like I don't think abusing state saves is uh, is wrong when it's to fix the fact that the emulator is broken like using the emulator I'm actually gonna save in slot zero again just in case um, using the emulator um, to compensate for the emulator I don't think is unfair <laughs> of this place somewhere. There it is. Take off the Goron mask. Hey, fairies! Guess what? <laughs> now it's the green-haired one. Hi there. What's up? Wisdom. Nice to... Nice to meet you. Oh, cool. Are all the fairy collections 100% optional, by the way? Because so far, none of them seem like they are necessary for completing. But I'm perfectly happy to, like, have done that and have twice as much magic power and not have to deal with those again. So that's cool. Yeah, look how much magic I have now. Sweet. I guess it makes sense that they're optional because they are hard as heck. Alright. So what we're going to do... Soar back to town, drop off our rupees, and then restart time.
Yeah, that's way better than the spin attack. <laughs> like, I barely used the spin attack at all. I used it maybe a little bit accidentally in the first boss fight. Um, but, yeah. Uh, this was the wrong way. I need to go to West Clock Town, not North Clock Town. This way. Bye, Skog. Thanks for coming. All right. One twenty-seven. <laughs> Stop patting your knees like that. It's disconcerting. 428 rupees left. Cool. Alright, let's go back in time. Back in time. and return to dawn of the first day indeed yeah no it's nice to have a lot of magic because because uh you know i'm firing off a ton of these arrows um and so it's you know it's useful to to not have to worry as much about magic stuff and and i think the goron roll uses some magic up so i just have to figure out now how to do um <laughs> Um, I never made it much past... No, wait, what? I'm Now I'm just reading from the chat. I never made it much past here. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, but, yeah, no, so I'm, I'm firing off a lot of arrows and I don't have to worry about my magic power, so it's nice to have twice as much magic. I'm still going to probably run out of arrows, but, you know. And I'm not sure if this actually sticks, but just in case it does. This might be wiped when I save. Just in case that it sticks around so I don't forget to do it next time. Check in with the owl. please. Alright. That was not bad. Mwah. That's the creepiest noise. Anyway. Oh, no, actually the giggle that comes next is pretty creepy too. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, that one. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Right, so thanks everybody who stuck around with me this long. I appreciate it. Um, it seems like all I gotta do right now is figure out how to get across that snowball bridge place because um, that'll take me up to the final spot where I need to go um, now that I've got the the key. I have to remember where the heck I got that master key um, so I can get it again next time, the boss key. But, uh, but other than that, because I already I don't remember. Um, but, but I found it once, so I'm sure I can find it, find it again, and I won't be distracted by the fairies this time. Plus, I feel like now I have a really kind of a good sense of like, okay, the like in the main entry, when you come into the, the temple, the left side, that's the way to take you up to like the second floor area and then the right side is the staircase that takes you all the way up to like the the top area um, so I think I, I'll be able to figure that out pretty or to, 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 to figure out what I did pretty easily and, and repeat it um, so yeah uh, I'll see you all next week um, 
until then, uh, you still have one more week to play the last two uh, four in February games. They're both quite short, um, so especially the Cat and the Coup. So I recommend doing that. They are the Cat and the Coup and Frog Fractions, and there's links to both of them uh, on the forum if you can't find them. Um, the usual community lineup. Uh, I'm not sure if Monday they're doing... Um, mostly walking or not, because I don't know if Bill's back from India. Yet. No, that's right, Sean's. So I'm not sure if Bill's back from India yet, but Sean Plot is doing. Um, yeah, he's got his his uh, project going on, and he's doing a lot of play testing, so he's not available. So we're no mostly walking this week, I think. Um, but there should be Sean Bouchard doing play by play on Wednesday uh, at eight, and Jason Cuba Rhodes doing Satan's Fingers at six. Um, I think he just finished Gone Home last week, so hopefully he's starting something new and interesting um, this coming week. And Sean Bo is still playing Nancy Drew. I feel like we're getting fairly close to the end of Nancy Drew, hopefully. Um, so that might even get finished next time. We'll see, I guess. Uh, then we've got, on Friday, we have one of us. Uh, I've been watching the VODs of E. White's playthrough of Sword and Sorcery from last week. Uh, and that looks like that was a lot of fun. So, um, you know, if you have a chance to check out one of us on Fridays, uh, I believe that starts at 6 or 7. Somebody in chat can tell me. I think 7, unless it's the uh, Euro-friendly stream, in which case it starts at noon. Um, but I think the Euro-friendly stream was last week, so um, this one should be the regular scheduled time. Uh, and then me again on Sunday. So uh, so thank you guys again for sticking around. I appreciate it. I know it can be frustrating when I get stuck on stuff and when my emulator bugs out and doesn't work. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, I appreciate your dedication, sticking around and, and hanging with me. It's fun, it's fun hanging out with you guys. So uh, see you next week, and have a great week. Bye, everybody.